O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Re replace fear with love. The human mind is like fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. Your mind... Oh, no. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. There we go. Spit it out, Tom. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 173, NASDAQ off 124, S&P's down 23. Gold, gold contract down $10.30, trading at 1959 an ounce. We have silver down 38 cents, $22.84 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck, $83.03 a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10 year note up 10 ticks, trading 111.14. The 30 year up 30 ticks at 122.16 in King Dollar. King Dollar is trading up 485 ticks, 102.532. The euro is at 109. The yen's at 143, and the British pound's at 127 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, you get a doji lining up inside the spy. We'll see if we get a total rejection. Right now, you get a doji just lined up, though. And you get 51 million shares traded. We went higher yesterday with 56. You get a small ABC structure down. We're still on that small ABC structure down. That's a 442 number. You're at 448. We made it to 445 today. They rejected 445.27. And right now you're at 448.35. We go into the futures. Let's go take a look at the futures here. So you, you're off the lows of the futures approximately 35 points. We pull this back. What you're going to see here, you came up, you spiked the open. The open is uh, 445.11. We just spiked it. You, you spiked up to 45.15. You know, as long as you stay over the 45.11, you know, that was saying that, okay, guess what? You're going to try to get higher. You get underneath that in the next 10 or 15 minutes, then, then it's going to get a little challenging because what you have here. Even the highs of the lows, that's a high volume bar right there, which is at 4496. So we'll keep our eye on that baby right there. But you have to still first get under the 4511. That's how that works, okay? Because that's the range. Now, it's just set up a range. See, there's the range right there. The Qs. We take a look at the NDX 100. What do we have inside the Qs? Qs set up right now. They are down on uh, 37 million shares traded. Now, this here is going to get interesting because this, this, we had, we had one ABC down, but the Qs are actually setting up another one. And we're going to get the volume. We're at 37 million. If we get 47 million, you're going to have the volume. You're going to have a larger ABC down, actually. And what is keeping the market up in general is right here, which is the 372 85. Now, the Qs are underneath it. That's what it, it basically rejected that number yesterday. It had 37 million yesterday. We're at 37 million. What did it have? 37 million? Yeah. We're at 37 million now. That number, though, you can see what it's going into there. That number is 86 million that you're going into. That being said, you'd want the Qs, if, if, if you're thinking we're going to go to a higher price, you want the Qs over are at 372.85, and right now we're at 371.39. We go into the uh, notes and bonds. So we take a look at the 10-year first. What do we have with the 10-year? You know, this basically saved itself last Friday in a monster way. Um, you had 1.2 million contracts today. It's, that's small contract volume. We had, there's going to be a huge amount of issuance this week. So this will move this around for sure, because if the issuance goes good, People will basically 
pile into this 10 because they'll be saying, okay, man, you know, that was a downdraft. Bottom line is still inside the range. That's saying that this still wants to go up to the 113.06. Right now, we're yielding 4.01. The high of last week was 4.17. Big numbers, man. Big numbers everywhere. And, well, uh, let's go to the gold contract because they're taking gold to the cleaners here. Now, you have the volume that's contracting. But I've seen this before, man. The bottom line, when it can't hold price, it can just grind you down. So gold contracts down 1020. You get 134,000 contracts. Now, that's going into the last low that a rejected lower price had 156. But we haven't rejected price here. So what's game here inside of this contract is uh, 19... 19, 1939, and right now you're at 1959. And we go to the good U.S. dollar. We take a look at the dollar, and what the dollar, you know, dollar had a slight retracement. You had another sign of strength out here today. The dollar is up 496, had a high of uh, 102,796. We're at 102,535. Now, that the swing high, the first swing high is that is trying to take out is the 102.840. And if this is at ABC up, it's going to go all the way up. It's, it's going to blow away the swing point it's going after, which is the 103.500. It will go all the way up to the 104.695. So you get, we get a lot of action out here. There's no, no two ways about that. So inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX, you get... Uh, Loose at the car company, up 11%. Amgen's up 3 Taken away from it, Datadog is getting smoked. That's down 17%. Get Dexcom off 9.5%. Um, Zscale is off 5%. You get CrowdStrike down 4%. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Point-wise here, what do we have? Let's take a look. Point-wise, you got Amgen putting 7 positive points. Caterpillar 2, taken away from it. Goldman down 47, putting 47 negative points into it, rather. United Health 36, Microsoft 34. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman.